club it is pixie and it is day three in japan i'm not gonna lie i am very low energy today i have a pounding headache it is noon it is 11 50 and i just i'm still in my hotel room i'm having a really hard time this morning but today's plan was to do meiji jingu shrine and also nakano broadway two kind of polar opposites um but it's raining, so I might do Nakano first, and then hopefully, if like everything's perfect, maybe around sunset even, the rain, like it will be nicer out. It's just like barely sprinkling. Actually, maybe it has stopped a bit. I don't know, dudes. But um, that's the plan today. I am rocking a Mahoke Kaward type situation sort of thing. My dress is otaku apparel. Um, my bag is of course my precure bag. These little earrings I got at WC the other day. And my beret is Sunshine by Hester. I need to get more money out. I need to get a snack. I need to get on the train and go to Nakano. So that is the plan today. I'm going to get up, get off my ass, get out into the world. So let's go. And let us begin our journey to Nakano. We are headed to Nakano Broadway, which is a mall located in the Nakano ward of Tokyo. It is 40 minutes-ish by train, I think 20 by car, um, from Shibuya Station, which is where I was traveling from. And it is a massive, totally indoor shopping mall. And here we are at the golden, I guess, red gates. This mall is, I believe, four floors of just absolute collector's heaven. Uh, I believe it has been compared to Akihabara as well as Ikebukuro, two other very weeby hubs of Tokyo with lots of anime merchandise. Uh, but I find one good way of distinguishing them is that Nakano is more so retro collectible goods that have been resold from previous owners, whereas Akiba and Ikebukuro seem to have more shiny new brand new anime goods. Um, but Mandarake, aka one of my favorite places on the planet, is located on the fourth floor. There are countless tiny rooms lined with glass cabinets, all containing different types of usually pretty niche collectibles. But the creme de la creme, the absolute dreamland, the shining gem in this slightly weird labyrinth of a mall is the retro magical girl goods. Mandarake plastic is where you will find all of these Meho Shoujo goods. Like when I say there's a lot of little rooms filled, just packed with stuff, like there's a lot of little rooms, so it's super fun to just wander around and discover things. It's mostly all retro or vintage. Some of the stuff is super old and super rare and super expensive. So everything is behind glass and you do have to ask someone to um, get your items for you. So it's slightly unnerving because you do have to be like, Hi, excuse me, can I have all of these frigging precure goods? And then the cash is actually usually there's like one or two I believe on each floor or something and you like take your goods from all the rooms and pay for them in one place. It's a very interesting system. And they also have a tax-free counter, so if you're visiting and you bring your passport, you can get everything tax-free! Retro anime toys like My Little Ponies, Polly Pockets, Puppy Surprises, and right down the hall is also Spink, a legendary J-fashion store that sells upcycled and handmade Fairy K fashion. There are a couple other places as well, other than Mandarake, that have anime goods. This store called Robot Robot got lots and lots of my yen. Super duper fun. And after having a very hefty weaving out sesh, I popped into Spank. Hello! I want to do some final thoughts, especially about my Spank experience, because this day was extremely dramatic, but I didn't actually get to sit down and do like a little outro, you know, like final thoughts thing. So it's Easter weekend. This is what my old bedroom looks like now. Remember when it was pink and I used to film here every single video for like maybe two or three years of my YouTube career? Now it looks like this and like it's like very like mom chic. Go mom. If you guys don't know what Spank is, it is a fairy K brand that focuses on upcycling and finding thrifted pieces and kind of like reworking. It's like a DIY thrifty handmade fairy k brand um, that was founded in 2004 by a designer named tabuchi 
I visited Spank once before when I came to Japan in 2017 and it was just so cute. It is a very, very small store. It's in Nakano Broadway now down the hall from all the Magical Girls stuff on the fourth floor. Super fun, super 80s, super thrifty, super DIY, so fun. So it's just so fun. I didn't film in there because like I said, it's really, really small and there's just like the one shop girl sitting in the back. So if I just like walked around, it's just, it's too, it's too small and awkward to film in there so I got the little sneaky peeky that I showed earlier but um, I think the story is maybe the most important part. When I walked in this time, the actual founder, Tabuchi, was there sitting behind the cash with her like pink old Barbie boombox playing actual J-pop CDs. Like she had this old retro Barbie boombox thing, but like she was actually regularly using it to listen to music in like such a crunchy retro way. I do that too with my um, record player and people are like, yo, you should get speakers for that. And I'm like, hi, um, the crunch is part of the experience. And she was just hanging out behind the cash with her Barbie boombox J-pop and her glue gun and all these little crafty things. And she was obviously working on making jewelry for Spank. And it was just so inspiring because that is kind of where I'm trying to be. And it was just such an inspiring little moment, just like a sweet little blip of time that I got to experience. This sounds really creepy. What can I say? I was touched by the Barbie boombox and the hot glue. <laughs> so I had a little peep around and I tried to like contain my excitement because the second I walked in, I was like, oh my God, it's Tabuchi. I'm meeting Tabuchi right now. What do I do? Like, how do I seem cool and very calm? Oh my God. And also she knew who I was. Did I not mention that? I should have filmed this like the day that it happened instead of waiting until I edited the vlog, but like it was, ugh. I picked out an upcycled, very large Garfield shirt dress because what else do you buy when you're at Spank? And when I went up to the cash, I did find the bravery within to be like, <clears throat> Toshiwa, defend this. So we got this photo together and I told her I was a big fan and that she inspired me and that I was going into fashion. And then she was like, you look familiar. And I was like, I'm the current kawaii leader. And she was like, that's probably where I saw you. So that's cool. Thanks, NHK. Because I was like, I feel like she hasn't watched my YouTube. It was a really, really special moment that kind of reminded me what my original goal, what my original like dream was to have my own boutique maybe one day. I know brick and mortar's kind of dying, but a girl can dream. I want to decorate it. I've always had this dream of living like above my little boutique and I would have my cats and like maybe I would have like a store cat, you know, stores that do that, that have like the resident store pet that everyone loves and goes to visit. Unless people are allergic to cats. That would be, I don't know. Okay, I'll work out the specifics in 10 years when this is actually happening, maybe. I've just, I've gotten so distracted by life and everything that's been happening and keeping up with YouTube and keeping up with school and mental health and all this stuff. And like, it was just such a sign from the universe telling me like, hey, reminder, this is your dream. And anyway, so um, after I paid and we took our selfie and I left, I did cry in the hallway of Nakano Broadway. So that was a very fun moment. Happy tears, very happy tears. And I had to like, kind of like, I, you know, I did the whole like, get your phone and kind of just like go to a corner and pretend you're texting, but I'm actually crying because I just met Tavuchi and was reminded of my life's purpose. So yeah, I had a very, very fun, wonderful day at Nakano Broadway, which was awesome because the morning of this day was like, I don't know, man. Anyway, that was my ramble about my experience at Spank in Nakano Broadway. I, of course, have a haul, but I think I'm going to do that one separately. And I, I think my plan is to do most of the hauls once like all the vlogs are out. So hang tight. If you want to see all the weeby stuff I got, there's a lot of Precure, um, a lot of cool old Precure. The fact that I have like a new Precure vlog and an old the Precure vlog really shows like the direction my YouTube channel is going in. Sorry. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you so, so much. And I'll see you in the next video, which is not this one because this one is over. And I'm going to go do some festive Easter festivities with my family. Bye. Bye.